good to be saved. Amen. And I'm just so thankful. As I think back about the times past, I just met uh, uh, Jimmy Cutter back there in the back, of course, Bobby Abbott. Uh, we worked together at Warrior several years ago, and I was just talking with uh, Jimmy. I hadn't got to see him in quite some time. And I told him, you know, that I just uh, wasn't saved when I was working at Warrior I'd just been saved 15 years. Uh, I've been religious somewhat all my life. I brought up in uh, church and uh, praise the Lord for that uh, because if I hadn't been uh, brought to church with my mom and dad and, and got to hear the gospel and everything, you know, it would be a good chance I wouldn't even be saved. But anyway, I've been saved 15 years now. I was 39 years old uh, when I got saved. And, uh, you know, thinking about that a little bit this morning, I did Mother's Day tomorrow, and uh, my mother was a, a big influence on my life, Amen. and I remember uh, she suffered with cancer uh, 13 years, and it was a, it was pretty difficult, pretty hard uh, on her, especially going through all the treatments and everything that she did. But I think back, and uh, I, I wasn't saved during that time. I wasn't saved for about a year and a half after my mother passed on uh, to go be with the Lord in heaven. And I remember one night uh, there in the hospital in Louisville at the Norton Center uh, when she was there. And I remember spending the night with her. And I remember her asking me, uh, you know, she said, uh, Gary, do you know for sure you're saved going to be in heaven someday? And I lied to her and said, yes, Mother, I know. Uh, but Mom always, uh, before she goes to sleep, she read the Bible. And I listened to her and I thought about that question she asked me. And the reason she asked me that question it's because she didn't see the Lord Jesus Christ in my life, even though I profess uh, to be a uh, profess to be a Christian, uh, you know. So, uh, you know, she she asked me that. So I just want to uh, praise the Lord for my mother because I remember that question that she asked. And, you know, if you're concerned about somebody, uh, you know, you need to ask them. Do you know for sure you'll be in heaven someday? Uh, my mother was concerned about that, and I praise the Lord. I know my mother spent a lot of time out here at this radio station. Uh, some of you uh, know, knew my mother, and uh, this radio station meant a lot to her, and uh, the Drake's here, and I, I praise the Lord for that. But it's just good to know the Lord, and I want to encourage you if you're out there today. I know many times I listen to this radio station because I knew my mother when she was going through all the pain, suffering that she went through. She couldn't get to church many times, so she always had that radio with her. And even when she was in the Danville Hospital, if she hadn't had that radio, she had to listen to WDFB and all the testimonies and all the preaching and everything that was going on there. So, uh, you know, I want to encourage you out there, if you uh, listen uh, to WDFB, you might be religious. Uh, you might be religious without Jesus Christ, just as I was. You know, I assure you, I feel with all my heart, there's people out there listening that, uh, you know, you've got doubt about your salvation. And if you've got doubt about your salvation, you probably don't have salvation. Uh, I can say that. I really believe that because... I've never had doubt about my salvation in 15 years. I was 39 when I got saved. So, uh, you know, uh, all you have to do is uh, trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. If you're there today and the Lord's dealing with you, you can trust in the Lord Jesus Christ wherever you're at. Uh, you know, I wasn't even in the church house. Uh, I was in uh, my house, uh, my home, one Sunday morning. And my wife and children went to uh, church that morning. The Lord had been dealing with me. And I just asked the Lord Jesus Christ to forgive me of my sin. Come to my heart and save me. And you know, I've never been the same since that for God. Amen. Uh, and I just praise the Lord. So I encourage you today, if you don't know for sure that you're saved and going to be in heaven, trust the Lord Jesus Christ and He'll save you. And I uh, just want to say uh, for all of you, want to uh, challenge you, you know, if you've got a good uh, mother and you're thankful for her, uh, you know, you might want to make a pledge here to the radio station. Uh, so I appreciate the opportunity to share the good news of Jesus Christ.